It's not just losing 30 pounds, but it's becoming a better person. That's right. It's kind of that goal behind the goal, right? Yeah. If we look at the book here, in the chapter on desire, it's, it starts with this guy named Edwin Barnes. And he, Edwin Barnes is basically a nobody. <laughs> and he, he wants to be the business partner of Thomas Edison. So Thomas Edison, the, the, the greatest known inventor uh, of, the, you know, of, our, of that time, but we still today. But th- think about that. Here's this guy that is unknown. And he wants to go work, not work, in his organization, but be business partners with Thomas Edison. That's like that's like me or you wanting to go into business partnership with this guy named Zuckerberg or or Gates, right? That's what that's that's us wanting to be in partnership with that. And it talks about here when when the desire it, it wasn't just a hope or a wish, right? This 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 desire to do that wasn't just a hope or a wish, but it is a keen pulsating desire which transcended everything else. It was definite. So like Corey was saying, he knew exactly what he wanted. He knew exactly what he wanted. And he said um, that, that at first, it probably didn't start out as a desire, but over time, it became a desire. And there's a definition of desire that I just, I love. It's awesome. It's uh, by Wallace Waddles I, I, in, um, I think, the book of, of Science of Getting Rich. He talks about desire is an unexpressed possibility seeking to express itself in and through you right I, I love that that's good and um, what 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 I wanted to make mention here is that he didn't have a mere want or a wish right like all of us have a want most people want or wish for things everybody wants or wishes for a thing it's like almost this little fantasy land type right right so how do you how do you move and make that transition from uh, I just want this or it'd be nice to have this it'd be nice to have have the big house on the beach it'd be nice to uh, nice to have my own business it'd be nice to be making you know million dollars a year whatever your goal is it'd be nice to have that great relationship whatever that is how do you move from more of a fantasy into this keen pulsating desire to where you can take that that idea and bring it into a reality and I think, and, and from my own experience, I think it's, it's staying with the idea. It's staying in that idea and in that goal and, and becoming emotionally involved or attached to that idea. So you, you, most of the time we'll get this idea come in and it's kind of just there, right? Was, well, that's that's kind of nice. That's, that's, that's kind of cool, right? And um, later in the book, he talks about that ideas are most of the time stillborn and they need life injected into them. So the way you do that is you stay in the idea. I know when we opened up our um, PT clinic, before we opened up the PT clinic, um, I was working and a wife, she was still in PT school, and we would, we'd be driving around and we'd say, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we had our own PT clinic? I mean, wouldn't that, I mean that'd be pretty cool, right? And, and hey, wouldn't it be cool if this PT clinic had a gym with it? That'd be that'd be kind of cool, but but it was it was always one of these like fantasy ideas, right? Yeah. Maybe one day, maybe one day, and then then we start saying, well, you know, is that something we can do? Can we do that? Is that something we can do? So we we stayed in the idea. We started becoming emotionally involved with the idea. We started saying, can we do that? Well, if we can, where where would we put it? Like, where's a good location? Mm. And then finally, one day, we stopped asking, can we do that? And we put a how in front of the can we. And the question then read, how can we? 